Well, we just talked to Dan Smith from Vail Mountain Rescue, and you may not know this, but they operate as a nonprofit. It's an all-volunteer run organization. So in order to be able to help those in need, well, we need some funds, and that's where the Friends of Vail Mountain Rescue comes in. And Sean McGinley is here to tell us about this. Right. And Vail Mountain Rescue itself has been around for a long time, well needed, because mm -hmm. we have a lot of folks that we'd love to get out there, but yep. sometimes we need a little help. How long has the Friends of Vail Mountain Rescue been around? We've been around for a few years, uh, three or four years and it was started to um, take over the, the manage the financial side of, uh, of the team for yeah. mountain rescue so um, you know the, the rescue team requires a, a certain amount of money each year for training for upkeep of equipment uh, for buying new communications pieces and so this is uh, the, the, the friends board is here to manage the financial side the fundraising efforts and then manage the money to ultimately create an endowment that will run the team for in, in perpetuity. Yeah, yeah, forever and ever. And one thing you may not realize, if you are out in the backcountry and you're hiking and you, you sprain your ankle and you have to call Belmont Rescue, you're not giving Belmont Rescue money. They don't have a bill for no, you at the end of the month. It's free. So that's why we encourage people to call, call early. Uh, if, if you're in a, a situation in the backcountry, try and get help right away. We'll send a team out there to bring you out 24-7, 365, yeah. and it's free. There's, there's no charge for that service. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then also, uh, many people may not realize, you're dispatched by the Sheriff's Department. So it's not like you, someone gets a call and they just decide to go out. That's right. So someone can call 911, it goes through the Sheriff's Department, and then they launch um, a, a page to our coordinators with uh, the rescue team. And then they assemble a team of all volunteers, by the way, to go out any time of the day and, and commence a search. Okay, yeah, these people have their day jobs or their night jobs, and, yeah. but they take their time to do this to help out. You know, they're definitely servers. They are, yeah. So there's folks of all walks of life that are on the team. I'm, I'm on the team. I'm also on the board with Friends of Mountain Rescue, mm -hmm. like you mentioned. And, um, yeah, Paige comes in, and if it works for you and your schedule that day or that night, then you go and, and okay. partake in the mission. So where are you guys right now as far as fundraising is for your fiscal year? Well, we've had a good year. Um, we're all in all, we're about 40% of the way there. So in the first few years, that's where we are. Um, we're trying to get to a point here of uh, maybe a couple million dollars and that will satisfy the needs, like I said, in perpetuity for the, for the mm -hmm. team. It, the team requires 60, $80,000 a year to, to operate. Now, do you ever have anyone that has been helped by you guys and then they, they get better and they find out more details of uh, how the rescue went and then they donate back or, Abs you know, or they want to host a fundraiser for you? Yeah, that happens all the time. You know, we're helping folks that are maybe second homeowners here, visitors, tourists, also locals, um, and people help in, in all ways they can. Mm -hmm. Some people join the team and they want to be on the team. Some people... Um, it's easier for them to give a little bit of cash or make a donation or to volunteer at, say, the Vail Farmers Market with us to okay. help sell hats and or partake in the raffle so they can help in, in any way. Okay, perfect. All right, if we want to find out more and uh, maybe donate or become part of the team, what's the best we website? Uh, the website is vailmountainrescue.com or .org. And from there, you can read about the Friends uh, Board and what we do in our mission. You can also read about the team, um, and you can make a donation right from the website. And then, of course, we have Colorado Gives Day coming up on oh, December yes. 8th, and that's going to be a big day. Okay, yeah, big, huge day where we've got a lot of matching funds and opportunity for us. So thanks, Sean, yeah. for coming in. Thanks for having us. It is the Friends of Vail Mountain Rescue. And you know what? If you're a backcountry enthusiast, if you like to hike in the summer, snowmobile in the winter, or backcountry ski, you may want to consider giving to them because you never know when they're going to be serving you. We have more Good Morning Vail coming up.